really, because I think he said at one of the other meetings that he was an expert. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Not quite yeah. that straightforward. Uh, the, the question we'll ask is, why do we have such a massive problem with placing funding bits? Because nobody else seems to have a problem doing it. Is it because the staff can't do them, or...? Well, I mean, basically, I, I know quite a few people who do this, and it's not that easy an issue. Woodsteads have been trying for the last three years to get funding for to work down there and they've kept failing at every hurdle and, and it's for various reasons and I think they're going to have to go back again and it's, it's, it's getting the right information uh, in, the, in the position to get that funding because there's obviously a lot of other people competing for money. These days I know Joe said he's got some um, you know, worked on things like that but it, it is difficult, you can easily just miss out by putting the wrong information in. Do you want to just come in on this one? Please? Yeah, the, um, so it needs experience. I'm happy to help. I know other people in the village are presumably happy to help as well. Um, pay funding advisors? No. no. The no. evidence suggests that if you get the right one for the right project, it can increase the returns, but it's it's in the case of a major project, building something like this, this size, that might help. Because for small bids and pay funding advisors, it's not likely to generate significant mm -hmm. returns. I'll, I'll cut my own slot here. I've actually done a two day course on how to fill out funding bits. I'm not an expert, and this is why I'm asking the question why do we have a problem? It is literally a matter of doing a little bit of research and filling the form out. But you can't do it then, just do it. I don't say I'm going to cut my own throat. But what the question I'm asking is we, we've had, like the Lich Gate's a good example. For some reason, we haven't been able to get our act together to get a funding bit together for nearly two years. And I don't see what the problem is. I, I, well, I don't know if in some respect, but for the building like this, where we're talking about a large amount of money, I think we've got to get the right people and got the experience to put that together because it's so easy to miss out and then you've got to wait for another round to come along and you can be a year before you can, you can resubmit again or maybe even more sometimes. So, I mean, I don't have a problem with this in principle. If there are people out there that are willing to help, I don't think we should, we should not ask for help. I mean, we, 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 there are fifth well, there are more than thirteen of us, but fifteen people, and we've got a heck of a lot of stuff to take on. Yeah, we're going to spread ourselves out thin, and we're in danger of not getting anywhere again. I think the more help we can ask from the community to things like this, then we shouldn't we shouldn't shy away. Can I make a proposal? I propose that we accept the first paragraph minus the second sentence to consider appointing a friend across the town. To consider placing an advert advertisement in the community newsletter, asking for volunteers to assist. That I agree. The rest don't do that. Well, do we, can I sort of interrupt? I mean, do we need to? Just, and I'm looking again at Drew, because yeah. there's two of us who said we've got some experience. Yeah, I think, and I think obviously, for million pound projects, well, that but you would have to probably go out to a consultant. Yeah, but we don't get million pound projects, and I think. Yeah, but, the, Right. There must be people in the village who are willing to help. I, I, you see, I'm not going to say we've got to here. If, if it's something we can't do, then by all means let's go out to somebody else. I, I, think, I don't think it would hurt to put this out there. If, it, if we get no response, then we know where we are. But I'd rather, I'd rather have some community yeah. involvement as well with people on this. And, and I think that's all, yeah. all the better actually when you put your funding with it. Because if you, if you can convince people that you've, you've used people in the community to help with that bit, then I know that's one of the things that they look for us to yeah. as to how you successful on drill the up front. If we're if we're advertising this working. Yeah. 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 It doesn't, doesn't sound it's like it is from here. Um, if we're advertising for help with volunteers to, to help us with, with funding applications, should we be thinking about looking for volunteers more widely sort of within the remit of the activities that the council does? I mean, we can use volunteers from the community for everything from web design to avoid some of the costs that we're and throwing out there to, to help him maintain footpaths to obviously you've got your insurance and things to sort out there but simple you know, simple tasks we could surely help us some volunteers in the community well i can just go back i, I don't disagree with that because i think the more community involved we, we, we're going to be in a situation if we lose all this money that we're going to have to look at ways of, of all pulling together i think we've got to get more people if you that aren't necessarily councillors but are willing to help and i don't think we can sort of like turn that we get the offers, we, I don't think we can turn it down, we've got to take that, that on board and all work together because it's the only way we're going to get things done in the next next few years. So I agree with you I, I, and I agree with John, delete that second part, but it, put the advert in and just see, 
see what happens. And then if we can we can form a group and look at because we talked about funding for events, didn't we? We talked about funding for other projects. Let's let's have a look at, at what comes out in the mix and see where we go from from there. And, and we can have a, a councillor or two involved in that, but but bring other people in. Um, can I ask Ted, yeah, that grant that we're going for for the bottom green, has that been done? No, that's part of this, part of this, this, part of this John, yeah, and that's yeah. why it's a large, large amount of money that we're looking for, and we've got to get that funding bid, bid right, yeah. because you, only, you, know, you can only get so many yeah. attempts at it, uh, and it takes a long time to get yeah, into, well, into the process, so the sooner we can, sooner we can do that, the better, but as I say, I'm quite happy to put that in the newsletter and see if we can, yeah. if we can get people to come forward with help us, you know. We can't, yeah. uh, we can't turn any help down, like Jules says, anything that we can get. No, the the uh, uh, British Crime Union Association has now put in together rules of playing to accommodate people in wheelchairs. And it's very important at the moment that with this, for things for bowling greens, yes, they are changing the rules to allow people, but so we've got to make sure that wheelchairs can get in. It's got to be all inclusive, whatever yeah. we do now, it's got to be, so we, I think we need the more, the more, yeah. the more brains and areas. Sorry, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, I was just to say that it's a good idea to put an advert in the newsletter, but I think we know enough people between us across section of Amsterdam to ask people to know as well, not, not just about the newsletter. No, no, no. If, you know, if you know, you know, speak yeah. to people and, and, and tell them, but hopefully they, oh, I don't know. if they all, if they all get a copy of that, then it'll, it'll yeah. give them a second. And there are a lot of local people who are quite passionate about being a member of the community in Amsterdam. So I like that, you know, I think that's the way we've got to put it. Stuart, do you want to finish Well, I'm going to try and make a proposal to you. Sorry, but the proposal is that the volunteers will be advertised in the newsletter, but the paid person thing isn't considered. That's the proposal. Can you really say that? That's the proposal, I'll say. Yeah, I'm just, do we need to put the bad paid fine in just in case of, to propose that we advertise in the newsletter for volunteers to help with funding bits? Well, that's, yeah, that's basically well, that's it. Paid. It's not. That's another bit's not for this left anyway. So can we have a second for that? Christine, all those in favour? Thank you. The next two items are down, well, three, four, uh, are down to me. Can I just try and deal with these? One is discuss formation of audit committee, and the other one is discuss alteration to financial regulations with regard to quotations for work. I think at the last meeting you, you were one or two items I think you wanted to bring to a, a meeting. I think again we need to look at financial regulations but we can, we can look at those. I don't think you have to wait six months you can do those kind of market. There's not a standing order for that. So we can, if, I think we need, to, we need to evolve all these things and I think the audit committee is something that the local councils association is pushing for the councils because we've got a, a big turnover. I think our size needs to look at something like that. And then other bits and pieces to the financial regulations. So if anybody else has got anything that they want to, to raise, we'll, have, we'll set that as an item at a, at a later meeting. Um, and if you just think, think read through and think there's anything you'd like to add, take out, tweak, um, and then we'll, we'll bring it back and have a, a longer discussion on that particular item. Still, yeah. You want to yeah, can I just ask, what would an audit committee actively do? What would they audit? Or what's your what's well, what's thinking on that? I think you, I'm trying to think back. I asked that lot since it, I, I went to a meeting last year at Ecclesfield and the Yorkshire Local Council Association. It was something that they put forward as an idea, just as an extra check on on the spending of councils and stuff like that. It's purely to help people along, but it was it was it was an add-on to why we look at the checks and everything else. Uh, and somewhere at home I've got a, a more information on just how these, these would operate. But it was a recommendation that come down from national level, I think, to do it. And it would only involve two or three people. And, and I, but I can't remember how the, how the proposals were. They met every so often, I think, just to do uh, go through certain items. And it was just an extra extra check and balance built into... Would they, would they really cover things like to say, <coughs> say we've got a working group doing a project? Would they, would they come under the audit committee to sort of report back to the audit committee every three months to ensure progress? Is that type of you can, really, you can really set it up any way you want to make sure things are, are just checked again. I think the more we perhaps do that and, and make it more transparent, then I don't think you know, that's what you should, should do. But you can really set that system up how you want to, how you want to do it. But say it is a recommendation that they, 
those are they've asked councils to consider. Can you uh, the, can you do that that paperwork and put it on the agenda? Yeah, it's, 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 I've got it at home. It's it's as I say, it was back to last November, I think when it was the meeting I went to it's it's gone on for that long. So again that and if we can we can move those two items yeah. and bring them if we can defer and bring them back to a later later meeting, I'll dig some more stuff out on on that. So can I have or can I propose that we we defer these for the time being and bring them back to a, a separate yeah. meeting where we discuss financial regulations and all you second that, John, thank you. Yeah. All those in favour? Thank you. Discuss procurement of notice board seats. We've done that already. Again, I've got some information from those of the meetings about price of seats and, and notice boards. <coughs> I think we need to have a look at that and, and see whether we can put that in the budget for next year or and maybe a couple of years after try and work through. Are you saying we would defer that to the budget meetings? Yeah. We can get some costings then that we can Your proposal have a look at. No? Vote on that please, all those in favour? Thank you. Uh, discuss 2015-16 budget and the consequences of withdrawal of the government support grant. I think we've gone over this a few a few yeah. times. We, we did go to a meeting last week with the Commissioner Stewart and I and Michael and, and I think basically it was a it was a waste of time, um, yeah. but it will be. I expected a lot more from it. Uh, yeah. It was it was a bit like a game of bingo, pressing the set of keyboards until the end of the day. I think things were shut, somebody shouted at house, but the way from yeah. the proceedings just to try and line it up a bit. But it wasn't it wasn't very satisfactory. And I did have a word with the um, lead commissioner after the meeting to try and uh, see if we could progress this, and he, he didn't make any. Commitments, but he said they were, you know, they were aware of this, and I think we we still need to draw the attention of the council to this as often as we as we can. Still, do you want to make a comment? Yeah, I'm just going to say that this is for the public. It, again, I think most of them know already, but in the next was it two or three years, we will be in a position where we'll be losing thirty thousand or thirty-one thousand pound a year in grant from RMBC. The government are giving. Uh, what they call a tax based grant to the local authorities and the local authorities are not passing it on to us. Um, I think in the south of the borough, especially I think Dinnington's of the same mind, but obviously I can't speak to them, we are going to start questioning this because there was very little consultation. I've already put this on the agenda for the next the branch meeting of the South Yorkshire uh, Local Councils Association and I think we're going to try and get this, I'm looking at Cloud now, get this on the next parish network meeting to discuss, to start really lobbying RMBC to give us this money back. They're taking it off us with a very, very little consultation, and it was a basically a take it or leave it option. And I think we should fight this, because at the end of the day, the government are giving them our money, and they're just refusing to give us it. And I think we should stand up and fight for our position. I agree, yeah. Right, what we really did last time, and I think we've got to do again, is we did a budget, we had a shadow budget. Mm. One, if we were going to get it, and one, if we weren't going to get it, we did that last time. And I think that's what we have to do this time as well. Well, can I just come in? Yeah, no, well, cool. As it stands at this moment in time, RMBC have passed a resolution to say that this next financial year, 2015-16, uh, we're going to lose 10,000. 16, 17. 16, 17, We're going to lose 10,000. Change your mind. Yeah, what I'm saying is. Yeah, what I'm saying is, as it, it's set in stone at the moment until we lobby them to a position where we hopefully can change their mind. I think the way to go down the road of budgets is we will just have to budget as per their resolutions at the moment, i.e., that we're going to lose money next year. And if we get the money back, well, that will be a bonus. Yeah. I just hope they don't take more away than they've said they would. No. Uh, can I, uh, just one point to that, I know Mike has told me before that uh, one council locally, is, they're doing this, but they're spending it over 10 years, which is mitigating that amount of money uh, a lot better than, than three. You know, mm -hmm. you're, you're losing £30,000 a year over 10 years, well that's £3,000 a year, you can probably, you probably manage to cope with that on the longer term, but to lose £31,000 in three is a bit, is a bit savage, uh, it means, you know, we, we probably have to make some 
uh, this evening if that, if that hasn't changed. But it's really just to bring people, make people aware of that, but we'll try and, try and see what we can do. So, um, do we do anything about it? Okay, um, 27. <coughs> Consider subscribing to digital mapping and build the cost for consideration during the budgeting process 2016 17. Uh, can I just ask Mark for a bit of background on this if he's got it? Yeah, it's a system from Pair Technology. Uh, it's about one and a half thousand pounds. Excuse um, me, Matt, could you speak up, please? And they offer a system where they can digitally map the entire village, stroke parish, and then you can start building data on top of that in terms of assets, trees that might need maintenance, grave spaces, all the sorts of things where the portable device could go along and see a tree and say, well, the branch needs to be on that, and it straight away puts it in the digital map, and it's all there in one place. So it's just something that perhaps the budgeting committee may want to consider for next year, say it's one and a half thousand pounds, Promoted at the various mm. trade fairs and things. I think it's a, it's going to be a useful it's a useful it's tool if we can manage to afford it because we it's, it's going to save us a lot of time and money I think in some instances for picking uh, things up and putting down on the amount of paperwork if we can sort of put data back into the system and um, having to write everything out and I think it's got to be a good thing but it's something that we need to we need to consider in the future. Colin and Rod. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, can, I, can I just clarify with the clerk? Is this going to be updated every year, or is it once every two, every five, or is it done once and that's it? It'll be updated. How do you mean updated? Huh? How do you mean updated? <coughs> well, if they're going to do a digital map of the parish, when they've done that and it then goes either on the line, on, online, or go into online, are they going to do it again the next year? Because they're going to be changing within the parish every year. I think the main essence of the, pa the package is the data that we contain as a parish, and therefore allotment numbers and grave numbers and tree identification. And in terms of, I suppose, what you're saying is if the road changes, we will then update. And the parish council has free access to the ordnance survey mapping system. And the trouble is that with the ordnance map mapping system, all you get is raw data. So this company, what they do is they massage that data so that it actually then can be put into a system where it's user friendly. I assume that for a fee, they would then update that as the background. For the, but the main element of what you're doing is that's the data that we're putting in, um, as a, rather than the data that they're putting in as the, the floor of the system. Okay, thank you. Um, can't we do that with Google? Google Maps? Yeah. Well, I mean, we can, we can give them the information and we need... Would, would, would that not be available? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, can we do that with Google Maps? Yeah, I'm going to say, I think, I think it might, from what we can get from them, if we try and identify individual uh, plots in a barrel, it might be a bit, a bit too much to actually put on them. On the system, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm one or two, one or two people are a little bit more IT aware than, than I am, but I think it's something for us to consider. That it's going to be a, a useful tool that's going to help everybody. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, sorry, if, if the budgeting committee decided that this was a worthwhile project and they actually budgeted the money, then obviously before we go down that line, we'd probably get these people to come in and actually tell us in technical terms what it is and what the benefits of the system are. Mm -hmm. We just take it on face value with it. That's what we need. First of all, sorry, were you first? No, 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 no. First thing is, we consider subscribing to digital mapping. I haven't got a clue because I've got no one from doing it. So I'd like to see a document first before I'm asked to make a decision. The other thing is, at the last meeting, we had to fund 20 hours of extra work for an outsider to come and put information into our health and safety software. We've just been saying now that with the parish council will have to import all these new items into the thing. So how much time, effort is, are we going to spend, or even cost, inputting data into a digital map 
on what use will we actually get out of it. I mean, it's all right when putting all the recipients and all the, the different grave plots into the map. But if you're not actually going to do anything with it after that, it's a waste of time. Well, it's, it's, I'll, I'll it's there, it's there for reference, isn't it, at the end of the day? For reference to what I'm saying is, if you're going to use it, by all means, it could be a tool to use. But I would like to see a lot more information about this before we consider it, because you say they're going to cost a thousand, well, they're considering a thousand five hundred, and there's probably going to be more costs involved. So can I say we defer this until we've all seen the information? Well, I think it's, it's, it's I not. Know. I think Mark has put on um, consideration during what he's been process for next year. Jonathan, do you want to just, you want to make a point? No, I am just sure. Okay. Sure. Can we, well, I think we need to look at it as about the budgeting process. Um, sorry, Christine, go on. <laughs> it has been suggested to me by somebody um, that for, for instance, Rotherham Borough Council, it, would, uh, it is something that they use, but for a parish council, it's uh, a step too far that we wouldn't have that much use for the system. Uh, so obviously it would have to be cost effective. But personally I can't see that we would get the use out of it. Well, we don't do enough work in certain areas that we would want to refer constantly to digital work. Well, That's I, just my opinion. I, I, say I, I perhaps disagree with you on that because I think we've got a big area to cover and a lot of things that we have to take on board. But I think we need to have a look at it and perhaps Michael can get a bit, I mean, he's got some information there, but like you said, if we consider going down this route, before we do do that, we'll get somebody to explain it to us and, and you know, we need all the cost benefits and everything else so we can make a, a, a proper decision before we commit to anything like that. But we, you're right when you say we need to get something out of it that's, that's beneficial, but if it helps staff work more efficiently on one thing or another, then, we, you know, everybody's going down that route, aren't they? It's one too tight. So can we have a, what was your proposal? Well, we propose that we defer to the budget meeting and we get more information. Can I have a send for that? All those in favour? Thank you. Item. Can I just ask a quick question? What yeah. is the company name for the oil supply line? So then people can have a on the internet. The, 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 the main supplier is Pair Technology. So the main, the main supplier is Pair Technology. P P A R. And uh, they then subscribe to something called PT Mapper and that link and various other. Mm -hmm. So we have got some information. I'm yeah. sure we'll get that. Yeah, we'll bring that forward at yeah. the budget meeting. Yeah. Item twenty eight. This is yours. Right, this was to discuss contact between councillors and employees. I was going to speak about why it seems to be a problem that I can't speak to council employees. Uh, and also I was going to discuss why, why it seems to be practice that contractors are ringing up the clerk and telling the clerk that I'm talking to council employees. I'm going to withdraw this item for the time being. Okay, do you want to decide what you do with it then? Uh, I'll, that by? Think about I'll decide whether to be, put it back on the agenda or not. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that. Chair, sure. personally I've got no problem with a councillor saying good morning to a contractor. No, neither have I. Nothing to do with that. Okay, well, anyway, you, you've withdrawn it and, and that's the, you bring that back as and when. Uh, item 29, well, this is God, but Miles is not, not here. Um, do you, do you still want to raise this? I mean, no, I, no, no, I think it was, it was about getting no, no um, reports back. Reports back, but uh, now we've got miles on the committee, we should be able to yeah. work. I agree with you. Again, then. Yeah, it's, 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 do you want to withdraw that then? I'm yeah. just make one comment to that. Hopefully, when we get all these committees settled, that there will be um, reports back to council from every one of them. It's, it's something I did on the. Um, working group for this to bring reports back but we've not had them consistently from the allotments um, and various other groups and I think we should once we get them up and running I would expect whoever's chairing those groups to come back and either give a verbal or a, a written update to council so everybody knows 
not in, in that full of detail, but basically what's happened and what's, what's proposed, so everybody's got an idea. And then if we have to go to the you know, you know clear of what's, what's going on for how they're making assumptions. So uh, if you want to withdraw that, but then we will, we will look to ask all committee you know, working group chairs or whoever to come back and, and keep us updated after every meeting. I think we tried to get a report from the working, a lot of the working group for about five months that we never, we never got around to it. So that's the reason some of these things have slipped. Slipped by as we've not, not had any from just to, to discuss. So, do you want to withdraw that one then? Yes. Michael's just suggested that rather than lose the public session tonight, if we go into it now for how long do we have is it 10 minutes, and then uh, any of these other items that we even need to discuss in confidential session, or we can whisk through and we do that. So we've got, was it 10 past? Can I, can I just quickly, before we do yeah. that, with it, can I, uh, there's several letters on here, just letters of thanks from various groups for the grants we Can I? Move that the following should be received. Do you that? Yeah. Yeah, well, but if, if we can just, if we can leave that still, and then we'll go through, we'll do some other items as well. If you're okay with that, we'll whistle, we'll, we'll get a public session and then we'll whistle through, through those. We can just skip one. But there are some other items that we might need to bring forward to in that second bit to try and get them out to the right tonight. So, is everybody happy with the start of the session now for 10 minutes and then we carry on afterwards? Okay, everybody okay with that? Okay. So, we'll skip to item 15, which is going to adjourn the meeting for 10 minutes in order to our public trade any issues in going to today's meeting. Is anybody, any, any to the last thing? Mr. Pearson. Yeah, uh, you want to just tell us what it is, Kevin? Yes, about right for me, yeah. I can't see why this council presumes that it's a problem to generate an income from right for members. The problem you've actually got is that you're not using any any real expertise to actually try to find an income with this. You're trying to sort this out yourself. And what you actually need to do is take this to a body. Or an organisation which actually deals in fairs and events, let them come out, let them assess the situation, let them tell you what feel is suitable for and, su and not suitable for. They will then take over any events, run the events for you. You've no health and safety issues on it, everything's covered, all you will do is get a, a revenue. You keep saying that this field's a white elephant. Really, it's not, is it? I mean, you've already got a real, real camper. Uh, organisation wanting to come into it next year and give £2,000 rent. So, why do you think that this field cannot generate an income? Uh, no, I mean, it, it can. I mean, we talked about this the other night quite extensively, and I agree with what you said. It is, it's a white elephant at the moment in the sense that it's costing us £12,000 a year, which, how long we had it? Two years? £24,000. And I think at the moment we've only had £500 income. So, in, I think when people say it's a white elephant, I think what they're referring to is the financial side. But that's council, is not, that's council is not actually utilising the assets they've got. Right. You're the council, we can't make the decision we're going to allow, it, allow this to run this or whatever. What I'm saying is, there is not enough expertise on this council to actually make a decision to where the income could actually come from. This is why I'm suggesting to you that you actually bring in an outside body to come in, assess the field. This is like trying to sell your house and not knowing what it's worth. What you actually got to do is bring somebody in who organises the big shows, organises the events and say, right, we've got a 32 acre site here. We would like this to generate an income. Can you actually tell us what sort of an income we could actually benefit from, from this site, if you were to take it over and manage it? And what events would you suggest that we use for this site? You can't. You can have as many working groups as you want, but until you take the correct advice, your working groups will go nowhere. Right, I mean, first of all, I, I disagree. There's not enough. Uh, that you say there's not enough expertise around here. We've got lots of expertise around here. 
I, I agree with most of what you said about having an events organiser. The idea of the working group is to establish, I believe, some ground rules of who, why, where and what we can do on the field within health and safety and insurance purposes. I mean, it would part of bringing an outside organisation into looking at that will be part of that working group. Yeah, but what I'm, what I'm saying is, to generate the income, you need somebody to actually come in and say, look, we can put this sort of show on, this show is going to estimate it's going to do this, it's going to do that. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is, we'll give you or whatever rent for it to the thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, £2,000 mm -hmm. £2, mm -hmm. £2, for a weekend for a camper van is good rent. Mm -hmm. We're not disagreeing, we're saying this, is, this will all be looked at when we form this working group. Mm -hmm. We're not disagreeing with that. Terry, can I ask? Are you suggesting something like an events agent? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm suggesting, I mean, it's a good idea. Yeah. Same along the line. There's plenty. You've only got to go on the internet and have a look at anybody who organises yeah. shows. You've got trade show fairs, anybody like that. The youths who organise the events, they take all the public liability. You, they're not going to come back to us if somebody's fell down and claim on your insurance. It's their insurance, what's good? All they do is just turn it out to you and say, right, here you are, thank you very much for using your field. There's a check here for you. Can I just bring Jeremy on this? I'll come to you now. I'd like to say that I agree with the points that you're making. I think that it is important to remember that actually the majority of this council has been here for less than one month. So trust us that we, we will get to it. And I think there are lots of people on the council that are really willing to do this, but we, we've got to get through the agendas that we have, we've got to get through the items, the backlog that we have from the previous council, we will get to it, we will generate some income from it, and we'll take your point, so an events agent is, is a great idea, and I'm sure that's one of the things that the uh, working group will consider. Yeah. Can I, well, can I, we spoke the night about it, we, we were in agreement, and it, it, without to say stealing the thunder, it's something I thought about, because I'm on the vision we could have, um, like, Classical concerts up there, maybe, or them type of picnic uh, concerts and things. It might sound wild and out of this world, sort of thing, but unless you do go to an events organiser, you're not going to know what you're capable of. So, no one's disagreeing with it. Somebody's already suggested that they have uh, for four times in the year have a uh, show jumping event. Can I just, can I just stop this? Well, I guess this is one or two of the people. Can I just say, we'll take you, we'll take you from it's on board, Kevin. Yeah. I think, that, you know, you know not, we're going to have to have a look at everything as to how we can do it. And it's a, it's a you know, worthwhile contribution, so I'm sure the people are going to be on that. I'll take, I'll take your comments on board. Can I, it's, can I take Kevin first? Do you want to see the anti Well, I agree with everything that Kevin said oh, about, that's generate, that's about that. generating an income, but, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but, at the time of us purchasing this field, Robert and Murray Council didn't put our precept to it. Anston Parish Council did to actually pay for this field. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. So why now are we worrying about paying for this field when you put the precept to it a couple of years ago to pay for it? From, 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 my, from, from my point of view, from my point of view, I voted against buying that field. Because no, 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 right. no, uh, but you're getting it's it. no. You're not answering the question of that. Saying, but, but we, are, we are paying as residents for this field. Yes. It isn't an extra cost to the council because we we're, we're paying for that field. Right. You're paying, I think it's my phone's going off, so I'll try to shout it. You're paying, in my opinion, because I voted against it, because it meant us putting the precept up without proper consultation and putting the precept up £12,000 a year. The people of Anston didn't get a say on that. It was pushed through by the previous ruling administration because quite a few of the independents at the time were objecting to it. We now have a bill of £12,000 a year that I personally don't think we should have. So, would you the only way to offset that now is to try and get some. So, would you have put the precept up by the 2%? And what reason would you give for putting it up by the 2% if you weren't buying the field? Because you wouldn't have this 2%, remember that? No, we Which 2% are you about? Know, the 2% that it went to the year when we bought the field. But every year since I've been on the council, if I remember rightly, I've voted against putting up the precept full stop. Because I believe we can do what we do with less money. Well, now we've gone to a different subject. Can I just bring one last question? I just wanted Thomas. to say we already pay for an events committee in our MBC. They've got a fantastic events team there. They go around and they look at all lands everywhere that anybody applies to do anything on, they get it all checked out to make sure it's right. We pay for that 
um, you know, in our community charge and everything, so we should be using them really uh, to come and do that. They won't charge you. They'll come and look at your deal and they'll tell you what you can and can't do. You're right, they do have the reorganisation. They do the Clifton Park. There's a, re there's a reorganisation going off in RMBC and the events thing. I think they're moving, they're moving section. I'll, I'll find out about who does that and where, but you're right, they do have that. But they, they're there, still but they're there gonna, because they're they just filled a form oh, yeah. in to tell them about what we're doing here. They're just moving departments, I think, they're reopening, they're reorganising, but that group will still be there. So I think you're right, we need to tap into them because we pay, do because we pay we as pay a service. So it's, we're already consulting over the bonfire. Yeah. So we already use it. Well, I think we'll we'll find out. Is, how much is it? Is it Deborah Brown? I can't. I can't think of the name. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'll try and find out some information on that and see how we can we can use it because I think we need to get where we can get help for, for nothing. I think we need to to, to look at that. But with regard to Radford Meadows, we are where we are. We need to, you know, we're paying that money, but we've got to try and bring some. So we're not only paying twelve thousand pound for a year for that. We're now only paying twelve thousand. Oh, we're losing another twelve thousand pound. Yeah, so we've, we've been in effect doubled what we're going to have to, have to pay every year. So we've, we've got to look at everything. But as I said, so I mean, all these comments will be taken on board. do bring a heck of a lot of revenue. But okay. they cost a lot to put on as well. Yeah. I don't mind paying 60 pence a year for the field of the door. Okay. Yeah. 60 pence per week I, on my rates. Uh, uh, the field. Can I? If that's the normal question, I'm going to close that. Can I, can I have a question? Session. Sorry? I have a question. Sorry, George. Uh, you, you, you mentioned tonight, Clive, the possibility of looking at all the assets that we've got. Well, there's one that sticks out a mile, and that's this library. That's costing this parish council £7,000 a year. Just to be stood there. If that was sold and you got, say, £100,000 for it, that £100,000 could pay off the loan, part of the loan, you've probably saved another four to £5,000. Those are the things you want to look at to bring the cost down mm. here. I mean, the fact that we bought this land, we were told, was to provide a buffer between the stones, etc. It was golden to because the main people on the last parish council saw land for what, five and a half thousand pounds, we can sell it for ten. And yet now there are restrictions on selling it. Sell part of the land and you help yourself again. Well, as I say, everything, as far as I'm concerned, everything that we own or we manage is up for discussion later on in the year to see whether we, we look cool. to dispose of things or we look to how we look to generate income from. But I think we've got to, we've got to have a look at everything. Because Things have just stalled over the last few years, and we need to move this on because yeah. so we are where we are. But we need to we need to see what we can realise from if it means selling things off. Then, as long as we get the public uh, backers to do that, then that then that's fine. You know, we'll we'll, we'll consider that. Nothing, as far as I'm concerned, this morning in time, nothing's out. You need to make an assessment, of, Clive, of the effect of taking this 10,000, 20,000, and 30. You want to make an assessment oh, yeah. of that by making that. certain assumptions. Are you going to increase the parish tax? Is the tax base going to increase? And you can do, and Michael's pretty good at doing the, these comparisons. And you can do it very roughly, just on the main we figures will, of the budget. We will look at all that, George. The only, the only thing that slows us down is we don't, we never find out exactly where we stand till January, February next year from the Borough, the Borough Council, which always, which always puts us in, a, in an awkward position when we're trying to make, make decisions because we're all sat waiting for them you know, until February when they make a decision, so we're just trying to second guess it. Well, it's only the parish tax base that you want from the borough. Yeah, and that's what we don't get until uh, until February. Yeah. Can I last thing yeah, to just really quickly, uh, I've noticed tonight on the end of the agenda, which we won't get anywhere near, it says to consider a release sale of old libraries previously resolved by a council. It is, so, so it, is on the, it is on the agenda. But as I said, that everything is going to be looked at as far as I'm concerned. I've drawn up a, a list of things I've identified as, as maybe things we can do, but again, it's down to the rest of the councillors to, yeah. to decide how they want to take in and come up with, with ideas. But I think we need to supply everybody with a list of what we own and what we manage so you can you can have a look at them individually and see what, you, what your thoughts are and we'll try and pull it together. Okay, I'm going to close the public session. Thank you. And try and...
can we try and get some of these other items out of the way? There's some going to get carried over, unfortunately. Sorry? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do those. Um, so can we, uh, let's, let's look at the first one, which we've done. Uh, 11, we go back to. Uh, one, two, 11, one, two, four, five, six. Uh, do we still need, I mean, we, we've got a one there to receive discuss complaints regarding excessive noise during meetings, but hopefully um, we've not got that. Um, so, oh, can we just go through that now? Yes, yeah, we're, 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 it was the excessive noise from next door. Uh, can I, can I come in on this one? Just hang on, it's going to fall, John. Are you saying that we should get cross off all the receipts? Yes, That's all patterns. The all that they receive. Okay, so can I, can, I, can I go through the list, the list of letters? Yeah. And then we'll, right, so if we go for 11, 11, 4. Well, I thought we'd, just, I thought we'd have a chat about that. No, I'd like to say something about that. Well, well, just go right there. Right, let's, go for, let's go for 11, 4 from yeah. the brown list. Yeah, so we receive 11. That. Yeah, well, we'll, see, we'll just do a second. At the end of it. 11 4, 11 5 from Radio Nightingale, 11 6 uh, from Voluntary Work in Kenya, uh, 11 XRV and 14, 14, 11 14, uh, 11 15. Can we receive 11 16? Yeah. Yeah, right. that's basically the new one. I think there was a sum for that. And I think that was it for the uh, thank you letters, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Can I propose that we accept all the letters of thanks for grants? Well, we've got another one. If you go further down and get right. rid of that, we've got 22. 22. We receive yeah. communication from Spaces Society. Right, off we go. Uh, 20, we've done grant to Robin Hospice. 24, received communication regarding email accounts and consider. I think that's something we'd have to bring back on that one because I think we need to. Uh, so perhaps uh, defer that one because I think right, members need to discuss it. Yeah, we'll defer to it when we get to it. Then. So you just received the one we've sent, that yeah. gets rid of all the letters of yeah. thanks for grants we give. So I can't propose that we receive them. Can we get the 20, the other one then, 26, receive confirmation for IBC that sandbags are not required by Anston Parish Council? I think we can. That's, that's an easy one to, to get rid of. Uh, the others we're still going to have to leave, leave in. Any, any further down? Which one do we just receive them and then start from. It gets too complicated. Can we start from Can I have a proposal that we receive those for the second day? All those in favour? Thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to have to suspend standing orders now for if you want to continue, it's up to members. If you don't, then that's that's fine. Do you want to general feeling? You? Continue. You know what pressure? 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's one Sorry? Yeah. Do the workers want to go? Yeah. Well, I don't think it needs to go, it's not a problem. It's, 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 as long as we've been in the podcast. I think we've got five of them left. Can I propose that we go, carry on until 9.45? Yeah. Second. Yeah. Okay, is everybody happy with that? Yeah. 15 minutes yeah. to go. And then we'll, we'll call it tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Um,
uh, and include it in the working groups. What's the word I'm looking for? Itinerary. Itinerary. Remit. Remit. Can you just bear with me on this one, Stuart? I mean, I think they've asked for a, a fairly speedy response yeah. to this one, and I don't want it to sort of... Yeah, they, they, it's a long time in the planning list, I think, and just want some, some basic agreement that we yeah, well, we're happy to go with that, and then we can, we can take it further that yeah, way. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, obviously, by the way, the reason I'm saying the fair is because, again, there's lots of things I think we need to sort out with that fair. <coughs> Let's give you a couple of examples with the camper van club. We're going, to be, we're going to be camping on there this year, but we've got double book everywhere. Yeah. They're going to, whenever they camp, they invariably get to say little barbecues. We need some sort of policy on that. They're going to have to bring lots and lots of um, toilet facilities in. We need to work out. There's lots of little things we need to work out. I mean, by, by all means, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying objecting to them coming. I think there's lots of things we need to sit and work out before we start saying yes to these other groups. I think they'll chair. How many of them have they been doing this for 12 years? Um, no, they've not done it here before. No, not here? No, yeah, they have elsewhere at Oak Lodge, you know. Yeah, they've done it with 12 years. Every year? I would have thought they've got everything on there. I'm just reading what she's... No, they have. We haven't. They have. Can I just read out what, what they've put? Um, I think what they're asking for, if they can discuss the opportunity for us to hire the field, Commencing in July 2016, your colleagues in the Parish Council have been discussed the event in more detail, answer any questions and queries you have, and share any supporting documents if required. Can I propose that we agree in principle to yeah. rent in the field next year? So they've got they've got some certain and then they do want to answer those questions that you're asking, Stuart, in that last paragraph. And I think they're aware they've been doing this event, so I would hope yeah. they've got enough expertise that they've built up to do that. So if we yeah. can we arrange a meeting with them then to John, right. if we arrange a meeting with them to come and, and, and yeah, just talk yeah. to us about, I mean, they could do a presentation start just to right. say. Can, I, can I just come in, right? Let's, we need the working group in place. We need the, and I don't intend to be a long working group, it's fairly quick, and I will be pointing back quite quickly. We, if we agree in principle, we may have it. Because, again, there may be things we need to say. They're going to say, right, can we use your field? And if we say yes now, that's not a problem. But if there's things we come up, that might not be acceptable. So we need to come up with a set of rules or policies and then say, right, yes, you can use the field, but this is what you're going to have to do. Well, right, can we ask them what their latest cut-off date is for us to give them an answer? Chair, I thought they said that they would tell us everything Well, they are, they are. I mean, I'm quite happy to do that now to let them know that, that we're, we're, yes. we're, we're yeah. in principle, we're, we're more than happy to do that. Right, so what, what you're saying now then is you're now agreeing that they can use the field next year? Yeah. In principle. Yeah. Well, that's not a fair agreement, is it? Well, it depends on the subject. Well, I mean, all you have to add to that is in, in, in subject to all the um, satisfactory uh, where they've been in place, and you might find a word for that, but they said <laughs> that they'll discuss it with us and the event in more detail and answer any questions in prison. We can't ask them any more than, than that. I mean, I'm reliant on the fact they've done this X number of years. They must, well, they must have it brought yeah, down to a yeah, final answer. Wrong. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to put it. What I'm trying to say is, all we're going to do, hopefully, is say, yes, you can have it. They're going to turn up on the send the contract where you can get the money. Because it's obviously they're quite capable of doing their own thing. What I'm saying is, we need to be getting our act together before we start saying to other people, yes, you can use it. All I'm saying is, can we have some form of time scale when they need a definite yes or no, and then we can work to that time scale? Anybody want to yeah. my, my view is that we, we, given that agreement in principle now, we ask them to come and see us and, and present their proposals sure. to us, so yes. we can, we're happy with that. Yes. Can, can I have a second for that? Yeah. No, all those in favour? Right, so we get the clerk to write to Becky Gill, I think it is, um, and ask that they um, get us as much information together that there will be a, a group set up to discuss this. And I think she'll probably, probably have some discussion with them already. She? Um, and I would suspect that they've got a lot of these things in place, and the sooner we get them to have a look at, the working group can have a look at them and see if there's anything that, that they want yeah, to, to ask. Them. I'm not just saying, what I'm trying to say is. <laughs> 
If we haven't a working group to set out policy, the policies need to be in place before we're saying anything to outside people. Yes, you can come and use the real in principle. Well, I think... Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Well, it goes. It, we might be that we find we've got a lot of work to do from our point of view, and I think uh, you know we, we need to rely on these companies or organisations having, having the information in place. So, well, we'll have a lot of help around to again, mate. Well, we won't. You're right. Just, so I think... It's in the field of merit, so it's well. I think it must have obviously been up and had a They've been an adult see if it's and simple, it? Another, probably if it, 12 months yet before that comes. If it was, but I think the longer we, we get to sort things out with them, if, if they're going to use that on a permanent basis, that's fine from our point of view. And once all the, everything's in place this year mm -hmm. or this coming year, then hopefully it, we get some revenue. Yeah. Plus the fact we've only got to tweak it every year. Yeah. To, if anything changes, yeah, no, no, we've got something to replace that. The previous, the previous side, the fellow sold the field. Well, it is his boots, scrap metal, yeah. yeah. so they've sold it all. We've been there for about five years. Yeah. So, can we, if we can do that, then we'll deal with that. Um, yeah. but, but which, which order? Are we just going down these orders? We're just trying to pick tools to do it that need. Um, where are we now then, Mark? <coughs> Yeah, item uh, 12 needs to go in to confidential, we're not going to get that. Item 12 needs to go in to confidential. That one does need to be... Is that the uh, Yeah, that uh, began the allotment. It needs to go into confidential session for the next meeting, because we're not going to get it sorted tonight. There's quite a bit of background information, so I'm going to put that on the next meeting and put it after the, the tires we can on the agenda so we can get that one out as well. We still got to go into confidential but, but we'll make time for it next time. Which uh, is that one Um twelve. It's it's just, it's it's 11, 11, 12 regarding that, but it is it oh, is okay. it does need to go into confidential session. Yeah. Christine, I've seen the uh, the information we what we've got next then. 13 email regarding budget statement on the website. Colin, this is yours. Do you want to? Yes, I Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I sent this in, uh, well, uh, just to play on with it. No, play on with it. Yeah. And basically, it, it was to ask what budget impressions uh, the council thought they were going to face being as uh, rated uh, CPI was at 1%. The bank rate was at half percent and fuel was still cheaper than it was 12 months ago. I don't see what it means. Well, the class just passed me this, and, and I think one of the things you, 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 you commented about was inflation pressures, and I think you suggested that we are amend that to financial pressures, which I think is <coughs> a more apt description. I mean, the I take your point, but uh, you know, if we were just spending all that money on one thing that's that's not going to be in value, then that'd be that'd be fine. But I think we've, we're still in the position where we we are under financial pressure, whichever way we we look at it. Um, and now that there's a pensions um, provision to add in that we have to take down in, into account for all the all the staff. So there are other things being added into the into the mix, but and say I take your point, um, and I think we'll we'll change that from inflation to financial if you if you're happy with that. But again, I think we need to we need to start again, don't we? We start looking at the budget, and, and and you know we're all going to be involved in quite a lot of discussion. I think at that point, as I said last time, the sooner we start doing that, the better, uh, and then we can get stuff out into the community to you know to make people aware of what we're looking to to do and what we've got to what to do and, and uh, I don't think you anything else we can add to that really this moment in time. As you say, I know you got that when you were um, a member of the public as such, but now you're part of trying to uh, solve yeah. solve the problem. You've got it out, but uh, you're going to be part of the solution, hopefully. So, I mean, if you if you're happy to to sort of leave it to that, yes, I am. Yeah. Can I just say, that, I mean, I think we're right to put that there actually, as inflationary pressures increase. The, let's hope this year we're going to get a better budget, a more realistic budget, and a budget based on actual facts, figures and events. 
sad to say, I think the last budget that went through at 1.9%, when the inflation rate at the time was 0.5, I think it was absolutely disgusting. It was forced through by the, <coughs> the majority administration before, despite objections from independent members. I say, let's hope this year we're going to get a more proper realistic uh, budget based on knowledge, not just on where the Labour Party we can do what we want. Well, I think, all that aside, I think everybody is, you know, more than happy to, to make their contribution. I think we've already got some, some new ideas coming forward from, from people and we'll, we'll, we'll take all that on board and see how we, how we can uh, move it forward. And, uh, I think we're going to have more meetings and a little thing we need to candles. Right, can I move on to the next item? It's probably going to be about the last one I think we're going to get into. Yeah, this 13 one, this might seem like a, a sort of you know, straight up, but I'd like, to, I'd like to get this one out of there. I've got many pudding, green fingered specialists amongst us that like gardens. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't know. If, I've not been involved in this. I did it a couple of years, and I've not done it for. Well, we might have laid from the sculpture side. We wanted to intend to do it, don't we? Do, do we? Sorry, Chris. I'll come back to you. Do we know now? Mike, from outside the council, we've got so Can many. Can we cars. ask Hobson's to do it? We'll probably do it. Well, they get enough money out of this. Well, they, they probably want some more to do that, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Can we just? Yeah, we know we know we have somebody from the Dignity District Horticultural yeah. Society. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. So can I just can I just make a suggestion or might just give you the information? We normally have have uh, people entering the competition now, but we've not, because we've not publicised it, we've not had any way of saying is if we put it in the newsletter, um, that will go out end of beginning of July, ask for um, people to, to put their entries in then, and then we judge it as soon as we can after that, after we get some yeah. entries, so the later in July, beginning of August, we can't get it done any earlier than, than that, unfortunately. So, I mean, people can... We'll get people from the Eastern Industry Article and Society and then does anybody else want to? I mean I don't mind when it's quite a yeah, nice warm night, it's quite quite pleasant walking around, but we need to get that we need to get that in place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so if we go around get it get it advertised first in the newsletter. Uh, and that comes out then this month beginning of July and then if we can decide who wants to sell us, we get a couple of people from Horticultural Society and anybody else that fancies. Um, being part of the God, do you want to be part of that? I know you. Uh, no, not particularly. Not particularly, yeah. right? Thank you. I, I, I <laughs> Thanks for the support. Well, we'll get people that maybe know a bit more about it than you, so you know. They don't have carrots in the front gardens, are they? I'll give you them. Christine, do you want them? Do you use a checklist of any sort? Yeah, we, we have a. Uh, yeah, we, well, uh, hopefully there's one, if we can make semblance of it, but I think we might need a new member of staff to sort it out for us, but there's normally a checklist that we go through, yeah. the right. points going and stuff yeah. like that. So it's, yeah. it's really what you what you think and where the application are. There's the allotments, which is one checklist, yeah. and then there was another checklist for <coughs> front gardens and then back. As, as Gordon said, you don't judge flowers for tuning anything, like you judge carrots. So we, we've got, we have got that information, but we need to put, just put it together. So it's a question of three or four people and somebody from the North Cultural Society. Um, but are we happy to put that in the newsletter and get that advertised? Is everybody in favour of that? Let's do it. I propose that we put the advertisement in the newsletter. Right. Saying that, right, we'll go that then. Yeah, get it out of the way. Then, but then, then some of them get that done. So we'll, we'll, we'll manage to get some people to do that. Society, so anybody that wants to can be a garden judge. Can I just say, say if, uh, if, if you're going to judge the allotments, can we ask ex councillor St John to judge it from his house? <laughs> what, we'll, what we'll, 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 make a, we'll make a note of that suggestion. Yeah, we, uh, what council do you want to do?
Right, we've got to 9.45. Can I close the meeting at that point? Sorry. Probably one last point. Can I make one final suggestion, Mr Chair? Yeah. Uh, in, view, well, in view of the amount of business that this council has before us, can I suggest that we also have a meeting next Monday the 22nd? Is that acceptable? Uh, well, to be truthful, there's not that much. I would hope that, that we can fit that in the one in, in July. Can I leave it? Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. If, if we've got the co option meeting next Wednesday, haven't we? Yeah. After that, if Michael can have a look at what we've got left on this agenda and sure. you can do any co-option meeting, is that is everybody happy with that? If we make the co-option If that only lasts yeah. no, it's still a council meeting for the co-option, so if people are happy to do that. Right. I'm yeah. just not conscious that if we can get through it, we can get back on the normal yeah. finish at night so yeah. everybody. Yeah, we're gonna be here, so we've done the co-option first and then that we yeah. yeah. with that. I do apologise, it's been a bit of a slog. Thank, thank you for your attendance, everybody. And thank you for your... Don't throw your papers away, but just say, hang on to them. There will be a day when we can throw them away, but we're not at that point. Yeah, Okay, yeah, thank you. I'm just rooting it because we used to have a